shoes. If you don't understand that reference, congratulations on getting your driver's license, but please learn the culture of the village before entering the village. Shoes are one of the weirdest parts of society, if you really think about it. I mean, first of all, no one else is wearing shoes besides us. Cows, they're bear hoofing it. Bears, they're cow pawing it. I mean, dogs? Dogs do wear shoes, but I mean, that's just because we pluck them out of their natural environment and put them in a artificial habitat where the ground is hotter than lava for some reason, and they, they, they burn their little paws. And they don't even like wearing the shoes. They, we, they try and kick them off whenever you try and put them on them. What was I talking about? Right, shoes. People shoes. Anyone who spends more than $60, and I'm being generous, on a pair of shoes is a sucker. Is an absolute sucker. You have fallen for one of the biggest consumer scams in the history of humanity, and I'm including the Fushigi, which was a, I'm so pissed I even bought one of those. I dropped it one time and it broke my bathroom floor. I don't know how it accomplished that. I'm about to expose the biggest secret that the retail industry has been hiding for us for centuries. Shoes are dumb, useless foot prisons that are overpriced, overvalued, and make zero fucking sense. Also, before we continue the rest of this video, I want it to be known that I do not have a foot fetish. It's gonna seem like I'm trying to get you guys to take off your shoes so I can see your feet. I don't, I don't like feet. Feet are, feet are gross. I just, it's very important to me that you guys think I don't like feet. Cause that's, you know, I'm gonna give off that vibe pretty heavy throughout this video. I just want to preface this next section uh, of the video by saying that I, Tug Daddy Supreme, am a moron. I'm not good at research or even Googling things properly. And when I do, I often cherry pick information to make my argument sound better and myself more intelligent. So, that being said, here is my proof that shoes are stupid through thorough, undeniable research and evidence. So shoes have been stupid from the jump, and every century since they got invented, they just got dumber. But in order to understand how we got to this point of stupidness, we have to go all the way back to this point of stupidness, where it all got started. Because as the old adage goes, those who don't learn from their past are fucking idiots. So there was this period of humanity for roughly 6,000 plus years where humans just didn't wear shoes. We just walked around uh, raw dog in the moss. Nowadays can't even let the piggies breathe on the subway. They'll, they'll call the cops on you, which I think is rude. Historians believe that shoes were invented sometime between 7,000 and 8,000 BC. You know, back when people were notably stupid. These clowns didn't even invent the potting wheel yet. They didn't know how to make fucking pottery. They're stupid as shit. Now the oldest pair of shoes that we still have today are these. They're made of sagebrush bark and I can't imagine Imagine a more uncomfortable looking pair of motherfuckers. But we already covered how these stupid idiots didn't know how to make vases, so this is just par for the course. Then fast forward to 3500 BC and we get leather on the scene. Classic leather, showing up late and staying after the party's over. Am I right, fellas? God damn. The world's oldest leather shoe that is still intact and we can look at is this one, and it's made of cowhide, one large piece of it with some leather string going through the middle, and it looks a lot like Yeezys. It looks a lot like the original Yeezys. I don't, I don't have a lot to say about that. Do with that information as you will. Then shit fizzled out creatively for a while and things just kept getting longer and pointier for some goddamn reason. And then BAM! High heels hit the scene in the early 17th century. However, high heels used to have a lot different meaning. It used to mean different things, I meant to say. In the early 17th century, only upper class men were wearing these puppies as a sign of status. It was to show uh, poor people that these mofos don't work because those shoes are so impractical and so ridiculous that like, one, they're, they're, they're expensive, but two, no one can do hard labor in these shoes. They're literally showing off that they have no need to do hard labor, which is a huge shitbag move in my opinion. They're showing these nerds that they don't roll around in the mud. All they roll around in is those sweet, sweet, whatever the currency of the time was. What was that, Norfolk tokens? That just rolls off the tongue. So yeah, that's pretty much where shit began to get silly. And then like in the 1830s, they invented sneakers, which look like these. Now I know what you're thinking. Tucker, those are just leather boots. And that's what I thought too, but the experts online say these are the first sneakers and I'm not gonna get, I don't have the mental effort to argue that. They call these Victorian sand shoes because Victorian era people who were high falutin, you know, high society people, they'd wear these shoes to the beach so their toes didn't get sandy. Um, but I don't know how these are sneakers, but that's what they say. So now that we know that shoes have been stupid since they came out, let's talk about why you shouldn't be wearing shoes nowadays. I have compiled a list of the strongest evidence I could find from the scientific community saying that shoes are actually bad for you. Now did I go into this video with an agenda and then I specifically found articles that pointed towards the answer of the agenda I was already going for? You're crazy for even asking that question. You're kind of dumb, honestly. Number one, shoes make you weak. They make you weaker, in, in the terms of standing up at least. Going barefoot forces you to use your foot muscles more, using both your extrinsic and intrinsic muscles, which doesn't happen as much whenever you're wearing a pair of shoes. When you strengthen these muscles, it greatly improves your sense of balance, which, you know, doesn't happen when you rely on plastic and rubber for your balance. It's just doing a job for you. And you're relying on plastic and rubber it doesn't sound like this guy wants to save the earth. Doesn't sound like this guy's very liberal after all, huh? 
you're, you're living off them land fillers. Number two, they make your feet stinky and wet, which is not good, notably bad, unless you're a perv. But I don't make videos for pervs, I make videos for Christians. Fun fact, 2.8 of the US population has hyperhidrosis and 25% of those people have Palmer, AKA foot hyperhidrosis, which means you sweat a shit ton from your feet. That's roughly 2.3 million people with sweaty feet. And I know someone's getting turned on by me talking about this, but I'm just gonna ignore that fact. And it's fucked up because people are always saying, oh, stinky feet, feet are stinky. Well, that's not true. It's the shoes that are making the feet stinky. What do you think's gonna happen when you shove something sweaty into an airtight blister box and you let them fester in there for eight hours at a time? The shoes are the problem, not the feet. I have, I've historically had very bad smelling feet. I don't know what that's all about, but it's, it's upsetting and I, I wish to blame shoes and not my hygiene. Number three, shoes cause blisters. Blisters fucking suck. Oh my God, do they suck. I don't really have a lot to say about that. They just suck. Blisters suck. And then like, they, they, you really want to pick at them. You really want to burst the blister bubble. And then you eventually do because you can't stop your dermatillomania for three seconds, Tucker. You can't hold back at all. And it makes the situation way worse when you pop a blister. You think it's going to make it better, but it doesn't. It makes it hurt a lot more. Uh, number four, shoes prevent you from connecting to nature, if you think about it. According to the internet, many people consider walking around barefoot outside to be a form of meditation. If they do, I'm gonna, this is a bad one. I'm gonna throw this one away. Oh, I already been numbering them though, fuck. And finally, number five, shoes are expensive. Like, oh my God, dude, why are they that much money? According to a recent survey published by Kuru Footwear, our notable source, you can trust me, Americans spend on average $14,640 on shoes over the course of their lifetime. Yeah, that's one of these cars. You can get one of those for all the shoes you've been buying, dummy. You're spending that much money on the thing you put on your foot to create a barrier between you and literal dog shit. It, it's literally a dog shit kicker and you're spending that much money on it. Why would anyone pay that much for a good pair of shoes? I mean, actually, you know what? I haven't done this bit in a while. Uh-oh, Tucker's holding his mic a little bit different. You know what that means. It's time to play America's favorite game show, Guess That Obscene Price. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look at all the dumbest, ugliest, and most plain-looking shoes I can find and see how much dumb people will pay for a logo. Up first, we have these ugly fucking Crocs. Good God. Crocs are a type of shoe that come in a style called the clog, which is, sounds, uh, it's already, it sounds like a venereal disease. Crocs are known for their lack of sex appeal and also the fact that you can shove Disney properties into their gaping orifices. Nowadays, a pair of Crocs will run you between 50 and 70 dollars depending on how deluxe they are which is already such a goddamn bummer but how much do these baby stomper crocs cost well let me tell you if you guessed a thousand dollars you'd be a little bit incorrect because it's 950 dollars holy shit just because it's a collab with balenciaga who thought you could polish a turd with a much bigger more well-respected turd how about this boot with a picture of donald duck on it how bad can it be, really? Now I know what you're thinking. Tucker, that looks like some dog shit you'd buy at Five Below when it starts raining and your, your little toddler needs some uh, rubbers. But you don't know, they could be rare. They could have some bogus reason for being very expensive foot covers, like most very expensive foot covers. Well, if you guessed these boots with a picture of Donald Duck on them were $500, you'd be incorrect, because they're actually seven. They're just $7 on eBay, someone's trying to get rid of them. Uh, but these boots with pictures of Donald Duck on them, them $1,800. Them that much money. The, what the fuck? I think they're Gucci, I guess. That's why they're so expensive. But this is, this is toddler material. Then we have these ugly ass sandals that girls when I was in college enjoyed. I don't know if they're still popular. They're called Birkenstocks. And the cheapest ones you could find right now are $110 brand new. For something that John the Baptist would have adorned during a fishing tournament. And this specific pair are no different. Seeing as they're worn to shit and kind of stinky. And someone bought them for over $200,000. $200,000! A house! A down payment on a house. No, that's a full house. What am I talking about? Just because Steve Jobs wore them. Because sneakerheads and tech bros are separate but equal when it comes to douchebaggery and stupidity. Now, here's a tough one. Let's look at this shoe together, okay? Now, when it comes to lady shoes like this, I truly don't know the difference between highfalutin art and just something you get at Payless. I don't know the difference between lady shoes that look like this. I feel like they're all kind of tacky. This could either be something a celebrity wears on a red carpet or something your ex-girlfriend wore to semi-formal in high school. That being said, place your bets closest without going over it was sold for one million dollars. This shoe is worth one million dollars. Explain that to me, God. Made by a dude called Stuart Weitzman. It's called the Marilyn Monroe Shoes. And they sold that auction for a million dollars. And I feel like he alluded to the fact that Marilyn Monroe actually wore these, but she never did. Marilyn Monroe inspired this shoe, but she never wore it. So someone got scammed. So while doing my research on the most expensive shoes, I also stumbled across some of the dumbest goddamn shoes I've ever seen in my life. Some shoes are made with a purpose, like steel toe boots. Those are made for construction jobs, and, and, and cowboy boots are made for constructing lies. But some shoes are created, apparently, with the sole intention of making me, Tucker Lingren, an angry little elf. So let me just rapid fire through these things that I found so I can hopefully sleep better tonight. For example, we have these high heels. 
Fuck you. Fuck you for even making these. I mean, I get that sometimes people make clothing for art, but I'm gonna ignore that aspect for the next couple slides because this shit is making me angry. If your shoe runs the risk of sticking someone like a hypodermic needle if they're walking a little too fast behind you, that's a bad shoe, I would say. What, do you work at the cracker factory? You just walk around on crackers and you put the little perforated holes in them? That's what these shoes are for? What a lazy joke, dude. Did I write that down? I did. We have these pickle storage container stripper heels which that they upset me. Now I enjoy a little pickle as much as any of my ex lovers, but something about these shoes logistically upsets me deeply. Like how are you gonna get the pickles out of the shoe? It doesn't look like there's any way to get at them. What's the point of having pickles in a shoe if you can't get at the pickles? And at one point, those pickles are gonna start to rot. Those pickles are gonna start to smell. Do pickles go bad after a while? I actually have to Google that. Yeah, pickles can go bad. I'm saying I didn't know that, but yes, pickles can go bad. So you're gonna have stinky pickle vinegar, vinegar feet. You're gonna have gross little pickle feet just because you wanted to make some political statement? Whatever the fuck you're trying to do with those? Annoying. Annoying stop next. We got more heels with weird shit in them. There's a ba Barbie doll sho head shoe. I get the very anti-Barbie feminist movement shit, but the Barbie movie just came out and that shit was fantastic and very feminist and now you look stupid. It also kind of makes you look like a serial killer. If you have a bunch of little girl heads in your shoes, you look like a fucking psycho. So next. We got these things. They look like car tire shoes. I don't, whatever, it's a concept art. I, I just, it's such a waste of time. These look like what I would draw on characters when I was four years old, when I was trying to draw people because I didn't know what fucking feet looked like yet. These look like something the bad guy would wear in Kingdom Hearts. We got these things that look like Ariana Grande in shoe form and I don't like them, get them off the screen. And finally, for the last pair of shoes that made me deeply upset, we have a very tame but equally frustrating shoe. I'm gonna put a picture up of them right now and you just gotta just breathe deeply while these things come up. Right? What are they doing? Why would they do that? Who's looking for this type of life? Who's out there saying, well, I want an open toe concept, but God forbid I show the last fourth of my fucking toes. I want to cover the nails, but everything else, I want to show off my knuckles. I want to show off them sweet, sweet toe knuckles. This looks so uncomfortable and stupid. Either go all out or don't go at all. It's like those dumbass toe shoes. Oh my God, I didn't talk about toe shoes. Genuinely, I believe that if you take the most attractive man on earth, think of the most, whoever you think is the most attractive man on earth and put him in these fucking toe shoes, he will never get laid. Not one human being has ever had sex in toe shoes. I can promise you that unless they have a foot fetish, which once again, I don't have. I don't have a foot fetish. I don't. What was the point of this video? Shoes are bad, shoes are bad. There's a million reasons why shoes aren't good. They're expensive, they hurt your feet, they smell like shit. But sadly, the only alternative to shoes is no shoes. And you have to see feet. And I don't wanna do that. If I'm in an airport and I see a pair of feet, either on the plane or in the waiting area, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking throw a fit. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, actually do those things. They make me feel good and they make the, the channel go faster. New videos every Saturday, except for when my computer explodes because there was a power outage and then my PSU uh, explodes. It literally fried off the back of it. So uh, now I have to edit this whole video on a laptop that has the same computing power as a Game Boy Advance. So expect a lot of razzle dazzle in this one, ladies and gentlemen.